Before you set up your ads on Facebook, there are a few things that you need to have on your Facebook account beforehand. This video has all the information you need to correctly set up your Shopify store with Facebook and Instagram ads. The video has chapters below, so feel free to skip to the part that you want. A side note, if you already have everything set up on Facebook, make sure you are an admin of all the assets that you want to use. Also make sure that you have the four pixel events that we are going to mention in this video set up on your domain. So here is what we are going to cover in this video. The Facebook Business Manager account, the Facebook page that we are going to use to launch ads, the Facebook ad account that will be running the ads, creating the Facebook pixel to track events on your store, verifying your domain on Facebook, setting up your Facebook pixel on your Shopify store, as well as the conversion API for accurate tracking, and then setting up aggregated events measurement. So let's get started. Number one, the business manager account. If you don't have a business manager account yet, it's super easy to create. Simply navigate to business.facebook.com and then create an account there. Enter your business name or Shopify store name, your full name, and your email address. Then enter your business details. The business manager account is where you manage all of your business assets, such as ad accounts, Facebook pages, pixels, and so on. Number two, the Facebook page. Your ads are going to show under your Facebook page name. So let's create a page for your store. To create a page, go to business.facebook.com settings. Make sure the correct business is selected. Then on the left sidebar, under accounts, click pages. Click add, create a new page. I recommend putting your Shopify store name as a page name. This way, when people click on your ads and go in your store, they stay under the same brand, which helps with congruency and trust. Number three, the ad account. In order to run ads for your business, you need a Facebook ad account with a valid payment method. On the left sidebar, under accounts, click ad accounts. Here, if you don't see any ad account, click add and then create a new ad account. Enter a name for your ad account and then choose the time zone and the currency that you'll be using to pay Facebook. Make sure you get these two options right because you will not be able to change them later. For the time zone, I recommend you use the same time zone that you have on your Shopify store. This way, there is no offset between your Shopify store metrics and your Facebook ads metrics. Click next. Choose that you want to use this ad account for your own business. And now you need to assign a user to this ad account. Click on yourself and then give yourself the manager role. Now that your ad account is set up, you need to add a payment method to it. So click add payment method, then enter your credit card details or PayPal or whatever payment method you want to use. And that's it for the ad account. Number four, the Facebook pixel. Whenever you run ads from Facebook to your Shopify store, Facebook needs to know what people are doing on your store after they have clicked the ad. This allows Facebook to tell you which ad is performing well and which ad is losing you money. The way you give this information to Facebook is by installing a Facebook pixel on your Shopify store. So let's create a pixel. On the left sidebar, choose data sources, pixels. Click add, give a name to your pixel and click continue. Now just close this window as we'll set up the pixel on your Shopify store later. For now, we need to do two important things. Number one, you need to add yourself to this pixel. So click add people, choose your name, and give yourself full access to this pixel. Number two, you need to add this pixel to your ad account that we have created earlier. So click connect assets and choose ad accounts, then select your ad account here. Number five, verifying your domain. Since the introduction of iOS 14, Facebook now requires you to verify your domain on your business manager, as well as set up your pixel events that you want to track on your domain. Although the setup is very simple, this is where many people get stuck. So let's break it down. For this, we will use the primary domain on your Shopify store, so go to your Shopify store settings, click domains. We will use the primary domain on your Shopify store. This can either be your custom domain like example.com or your My Shopify subdomain like yourstore.myshopify.com. Just make sure you pick the one that's labeled as primary. Now let's go back to the business settings. On the left sidebar, select brand safety domains. Click add, create a new domain. Enter your domain name here. Again, this can be yourstore.myshopify.com or yourstore.com if you have a custom domain. Now, we need to verify the domain. Choose meta tag verification and click on the tag to copy it. Now let's go to Shopify, click online store and the themes, click actions, edit code. Now look for the file that's called theme.liquid. In this file, look for the head HTML tag. Here, you will usually see other meta tags that are similar to the one that you have copied. Make sure you are somewhere under the head tag Create a new line for your meta tag and paste it here. Click save, then go back to Facebook and click verify. That's it, your domain is verified. If the verification doesn't go through, you need to wait a few minutes until Facebook clears its cache, then click verify again. If your store requires a password to access it, you will need to add the same meta tag to the password.liquid file. Number six, Facebook pixel and conversion API setup on Shopify. Go to your Shopify store, then click on sales channels on the sidebar. Choose the Facebook channel and add it to your store. 
Inside the Facebook sales channel, click connect account, a new window will pop up asking you for permissions for the sales channel. After you accept, under business assets, choose your Facebook page and click connect. Next, make sure data sharing is enabled and that it is set to maximum. This is very important as maximum will share more data with Facebook, but will also give you more accurate tracking and better performance. Click connect next to your pixel here. And once you agree to the terms, you're all set. Click submit for review, but you don't need to wait for the review process. Your pixel is already installed as well as the conversion API. Number seven, aggregated events. Go back to your business settings, then go to data sources, pixels. Select the pixel you have created earlier, then click open in events manager. In here, if you see that your pixel has not received any activity yet, go to test events, enter your domain here and click open website. Now just close this window and go back. You will see that you have the page view event now. Go back to overview and refresh the page. In here, click on aggregated events measurement, then click configure web events. Choose your domain and click manage events. This is where you set up the pixel events that you want to track on your website. This part is very important, so please follow along carefully. For easy ads, we will track the following events. Purchase, view content, add to cart, and initiate checkout. The higher the event on this list, the more tracking priority it gets. I recommend this order because the purchase event is the most important event that you need to track, followed by view content for retargeting, and then add to cart and initiate checkout. If you need to reorder your events, simply drag them by their handle like this. Make sure you don't forget any of these events, otherwise your tracking may not work properly or you may even get an error while creating your ads. Congratulations, you are now all set up and you're ready to launch your easy ads campaign.